Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are staring at the ESDA S15 in the pit section of Round 4's ESDA track. We're going to do a course walk, taking a look at the track, and running some initial practice. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. So before we get started here on this course walk, I do want to apologize for lack of content this week. I've been doing a lot with getting ready to be going to Erie this weekend. So if you guys are at the Erie FD event this weekend, make sure you guys take a look and see if you guys can find me. I will have some decals and some other goodies to give away to people while I still have them. So until I run out, so you guys find me at Erie FD, you guys can grab yourself some custom Borderlands swag. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media if you guys want to see throughout the weekend at Erie. So we're gonna do some lighting changes here before we do this course walk. We're gonna drop this down. Oh, we we'll add a little bit more lighting. We're gonna get a nice little shadow going because they got some lights on the walls. So we're gonna take a look at the course walk first, which they have updated recently after a couple of things that were noticed by some drivers. So we do have the traditional start chicane. Obviously, going into a quick, fast initiation into a very nice, deep wall ride. This wall ride is a very long wall ride. Got to make sure you keep all them tires up there, keep in the wall, but don't hit it too hard. We can drop, I believe, one tire back here. And then it is a massive slowdown into this inner clip, which was moved to this white line. It was before it was on the right side of my car. Now it's on the left side of the car. So it's moved inwards, which that turns into another outer zone out here which they have altered the wall because before the wall had this little flat that would come out and hit you so they altered the wall curve so that it is more flowing that wall ride turns into another outside wall ride definitely love all the lights on top of the walls getting that little uh, type s lighting from fd feel going on so we're gonna run full send here and see what we can do first testing on a base tune that eddie and i have been working on with these 15s so it's we got to do some fine tuning in the car. We did send the cars for tech, so hopefully everything is good on that end. So uh, let's go full send. Fourth gear rip. E brake in. On the wall. Two tires in. A little left foot brake to stay where I'm at. Could have been a little bit deeper. Slow down zone. Clutch kick in to stay in angle. Clutch kick into this wall. First time running this wall after the new curvature. Oh yeah, it doesn't come out and bite you, but uh, I hit the brakes too much there. So it doesn't come out and bite you like it would, because before you'd have to kind of clutch kick and like angle up a little bit through that section, because it kind of had a little square bit. So we're going to run that again. I was not happy with that run, because I kind of got scared. I was not sure how that wall was going to react. All right, full send. Left foot brake, kind of a little bit of wobble towards the end of that. All right, so bring this out. Okay, we got to come in that a little bit shallower and don't angle up so fast in the beginning. Final wall ride in the zone to finish off the run. So overall, not a complicated track, but difficult in its own aspect. So another full send. We'll take a look at these run one or two of these runs from the third person camera. Or from overhead replay camera. Initiate in. Nice and hard on the wall. Huge angle. But we had to feather out the angle there. So we don't want to do that. We'd rather stay at a consistent angle. We kind of threw us off to that inner clip. And I could see that happening with a lot of people trying to go deep into that wall gonna be tricky it's gonna be fun it's gonna be tricky but this is definitely a very interesting course I do love the stadium style so see if we can't get a clean run here initiate in oh too much on the angle we had a feather out and left foot break too much to stay in there so I don't want to do that less angle less aggression inner clip and that kind of threw us way off. So this whole run is kind of thrown off, but we're gonna finish it off anyways. Yep, this whole run got thrown off from the rip. 
So definitely gonna need to fine tune the car and do some more tuning on this car to get it dialed to where it's super comfortable on this track. Like I said, we can try and get a full clean run so that we can take a look at the replay of it. Okay, that's a little better. quite hard wall to manage coming into it. You don't want it to be too much angle, but you don't want to be no angle at all. Final wall ride, and we tapped the wall at the end. Unfortunately, that would have zeroed us. All right, one more run, and then we'll tip. I swear, we're gonna get this run in here. We could be messing with tuning, but we're gonna work on tuning after we get back from FD. Try and dial the car in fully. So it's just for initial runs here. Okay, that's better. That's kind of where we want to be. No, stay in it. No, we kind of feathered towards the end. But let's take a look at that from the replay angle. All right, replay angle or judging angle for the competition. So make sure we initiate, initiate way before the first line. So we were a little bit weird there. We had the left foot break. We weren't slowing down too much. We were staying in speed. So that is a plus. Kind of on the third hash mark with our bumper. This coming in is a very weird initiation into it, but we managed to get into that zone pretty well. Where did we actually come into that zone? That's my question. How far off of the beginning were we? So we need to alter that if we're way off. Oh, we were pretty much in the zone at entry. Nice flowing line. Quick transition. Angled up a little bit too much and had to come out of that zone a little early. So we don't want to do that. So we do want to make sure we don't use left foot brake too much in those outer zones. Modulate the throttle maybe a little bit more. So we're going to go full send. We're going to try to use less left foot brake and more just modulating of throttle. Left foot brake a little bit. There's okay. A little bit, but not throughout the entire bank or entire wall ride. Want to show commitment, but not also look like we're dragging the brakes and there's the wall. That's going to happen a lot. We do have to get this setup fully dialed in. So there's some things we got to work on, grip levels and things like that that make these wall runs easier to where we don't need to worry about really braking. We can just kind of set the car in its position and forget about it, but not to do that. We don't want to send it too hard into the wall. couple more runs here for today's episode just testing the waters and the base tune on the car got a lot of tuning we're gonna have to do to this car to get the grip level and everything that I want so that I'm not dependent on that left foot break that's a little bit better I almost lost my steering position there. If you notice, my hand went way on top where I don't want it to be. So a difficult yet easy track, but a track that I feel is going to cause some issues for a lot of people because it is a very big slowdown in some sections. So tandeming, gonna have to make sure we give a lot of gap to people. Was, oh, that wall, that wall entry got me scared. I thought I was gonna smack into that wall. That slow down right there, you gotta make sure you give enough gap so you don't smack in the lead car if you're door to door in chase. Yep, that's the run I kinda wanted to see. So one final run here for today's episode. Make sure you follow me on all social media and if you guys are at Erie this weekend, make sure you guys come and find me. Grab some of that Borderlands stuff that I do have that will bring with me some odds and ends until I am out of it. So we will be there, a bunch of us. So make sure you guys come say hello. Maybe snap a pic, throw it up on the gram. Do whatever you feel you want to do, but we're going to enjoy some pro driving this weekend. It's going to be a great time. 
So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm your fool for habit. I'll see you guys on the track. How far does this go? Ooh.